Already gone through all the formalities at the Rising Stones. Made sure to inform Jamaldor and Vmar at Ralga's reach as well. Arnvold, I admire your enthusiasm. But this is far more dangerous than anything you have done before. I know the risks. And I also know what's in store if we don't stop Fan Daniel from carrying out his plan. With this power of mine, I can make a difference. If I stood idly by, I would regret it for the rest of my life. And you, Fudola? Is this what you want? What are you asking me for? It's not like I have any say in the matter. Don't pretend. We both know Commander Aldin gave you a chance to refuse. And you didn't. <clears throat> so the Empire's finished, is it? But that's what they're all saying. That the great and glorious Garlemald slit its own throat. And now, from out of its twitching carcass, crawls the Telophoroi with bloody Xenos at its head! I fought for Garlemald. Killed for Garlemald. What was I part of? I need to know. Whatever it is. I need to know. Very well. If your hearts are set on this, I shall not stand in your way. If you've finished with your touching display of camaraderie, I have a question. Which tower are you planning to investigate, exactly? Well, the one in Girabani is said to be tightly guarded. It's patrol after patrol out there, apparently. We'd be spotted Pagal Thaan instead. There shouldn't be anything like as many Imperials to worry about down there. Even so... I doubt the local Amalja will look kindly on it if they catch you sneaking around in their territory. Fordola and I had a chance to learn the lie of the land in our previous forays there. We might still find trouble, but at least we won't lose our way. Well, we'd best not keep them waiting any longer. Mayhap, when all of this is over, we could take another trip to Loxeld. I would have you know I've become a rather capable swimmer since our last visit. Ha! <laughs> I'll believe that when I see it. Though, to be fair, getting into deep water does seem to be a scion's lot in life. Take care, eh? It means a lot, you know. You come in with me. I'll still owe you for saving my skin, don't I? Can't return the favour if I'm not there. I dare say you'll get your chance before long. That Fan Daniel sounds like a tricky customer. Too much for the likes of me, anyway. But we both know I'd just be another soldier if it weren't for my gift. And I need to be a damn sight more than that, given what's coming. I realize I can't hold a candle to a hero like the Warrior of Light, or Alfino, for that matter. He might look like he's 12, but he's seen more action than most people see in a lifetime. No, 
The fact is, I'm nothing like them, and maybe I never will be. But I'll be damned if I don't try. They're counting on me. On us. So let's give it our all. He does not fordola both. While they see to the towers, I would attend to another task. Chasing down this lunar Bahamut. Ah, oh, bloody thing. Can you hear me? It's Tataru. Oh, I'm happy to say we've managed to find Estinian. And I'm sorry to say he went running off again the moment we told him about Bahamut. But he did mutter something about heading to Ishgard, so if you're quick, you might still be able to catch him. Even if we set out this instant, he may already have left by the time we arrive. Have her send the Bonanza to Ishgard. It may prove useful should we need to give chase. Gladly. I'll see to it as soon as Kryle and I get back to the Rising Stones. Good luck. While you go off on your Dragoon hunt, Urianje and I will return to headquarters. We have much to tell the others. I wish you every success in your search for our elusive friend. May we all meet again ere long.